Hello. I have stuff to show. These, I just, I love these things. If you shoot air guns, especially 10 meter, I highly recommend these. Um, no, I'm not sponsored. I just, I love this product. I've had this one probably for over 20, yeah, easily 22, maybe 23 years. And these are such a, a great accessory for air gun shooters, especially if you shoot 10 meter. And uh, I don't know who makes these, honestly. I've seen different labels, like these are marked H&N, but H&N uh, makes ammunition, mostly for the European market. The only thing we see in the States of H&N are air gun pellets, and I think it's because it's just not cost-effective to export ammunition from Germany to America. Um, this one, it, it's marked Beeman, but it says made in Germany. I don't know if that's talking about the H&N or if it's actually talking about the box. So, yeah, it's kind of a mystery. Um... I did, I've seen different labels on these, so I don't really know who makes them. I I had stuff in storage, so I didn't have my usual one. I bought kind of, I guess, an off-brand on, I think it was on eBay. And I don't know if I just had a bad batch, a bad, a lemon, because what happened, well, let me, let me just open it up first, so... Uh, what it is, is it just, it holds a hundred pellets, and I guess it's called a shaker box, it has padding, and it's just a really slick design. So, how it works is you press these tabs down, and it's spring-loaded, and then you drop in pellets, and then shake it, and then all of them, they have to be uh, not slugs, they have to be pellets, they could be pointed pellets, they could be rounded, mostly wad cutters, but they have to be where the head weighs more than the skirt because otherwise they won't really fall down correctly. And then you, once they're all in there, you close it and then you can open it and then they would be displayed nicely. So like I was saying, I bought one that was like an off brand and what happened, I don't know if I just had, I was unlucky and I had a bad one, but the tab didn't lock down on one side very well. So I would be in the middle of trying to get them sorted out and then it'd pop up and then shoot all over. So I don't know. Um, this one, I think I got it in a bundle deal, but the difference is this one has like silkscreen H&M. So like it, I really don't know who makes these boxes, but if you're a shooter, I highly recommend it because it makes just, if you're counting your shots, it's just so convenient the way this works. And then you could even... Uh, Pop this cover out if you wanted to. You can clean down there, which I might demonstrate. But let me go ahead and demo, you know, how one of these work. So I'll just push the tabs down. And you just pour them in. It's, it's better if you try to pour in more than you need. Um, on four, at least four occasions, I've poured in exactly 100. And it's actually kind of a cool feeling. So sometimes I try to do that because it's just... A good challenge but you just give it a shake and if you notice right here there's a cutout so you put your thumb there so they don't fall out because then what happens is once you get them all settled see see how they're all kind of dropping in then from here you take your can you leave the tabs down and then you just kind of pour them out oh i missed one there there we go And then from here, you could do two options. You could do uh, the live dangerous way and try to and just pop these up. Or I think what's best is, you know, once you're done shaking them in there, you just close the box and then you can reopen it. And there you go. So what I like is that if you're counting shots, you know, rows of 10 or rows, you know, shots of five, either way, it just makes it real convenient. They're protected. It's also kind of a good gauge to get a good visual on all the skirts because it's obvious if they're damaged when you see them like this and uh, they're ready to go. So hold on, let me let me grab a tool. I want to pop this one out just to show you. Hold on. Okay. 
Okay, so pop this cover. So, yep, all it is, I don't think, you could probably pop this out, but there's little tabs here, so I wouldn't really, you might do a little damage, but if needed, you probably could pop it out. So, yeah, that's all that's really in there. And then, this is marked, it says top, so you know if you put it in upside down, because these are sized very specific, and you can even see, if you look, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it looks like there's a slight lip on this side. So I think these are kind of precision made either way. So look, I have some pointed pellets. So I'll show you dropping those in. See how close I am. I think I overshot a hundred, but right there. And pull them back. Oh yeah, there's a couple obvious dented ones here. And these are just like pointed copper plated um, pellets that's all nothing special but uh, these wow I didn't realize yeah you can really see some damage on some of these but either way they still dropped in just fine and yeah so the only difference with pointed or rounded pointed are probably on the extreme side they don't sit nice and vertical you know, you can't stand them up because it's just a flat surface. So these will tilt. Rounded actually sit better than this, obviously. So these are the worst case situation. And you, But you can see that even pointed ones will drop in and sort just fine. And you can still close the box and they'll stay protected. So... Yeah, really, really slick. I, I don't know who makes these, but... Highly recommend if you're an air gun shooter, especially if you're a 10 meter shooter. I think it, it beats hauling around a tin or, you know, I know there's there's the really fancy elitist pellets that come in the styrofoam cases, but I feel that these are just a good accessory. You know, you can never have too many of these. And yeah. So this is just the H&N air gun pellet shaker box.